Hello and welcome to your 7th Minecraft Forge modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.4.6. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So in the last tutorial I talked to you about how to add custom block drops to your um, new block and in this tutorial I want to talk to you about how to add ore generation. Um, so the very first thing we're going to need to do is inside our tutorial.com and package or whichever package you have, um, just create a new class and this is um, going to be world generator tutorial or whichever um, whichever mod name you have. Just hit finish and it creates our new class. Now this class needs to implement um, i world generator and we're going to get an error because we haven't imported it and then we get an error here because we need to add a generate method. I'm just going to add unimplemented methods and there we go. So um, what this method is, is basically when a new world is created, Minecraft is going, or new chunks are generated, I should say, Minecraft is going to go into this, um, our world generator, and look for the generate method. So um, that's what this is and inside of it we're going to add some method codes. We're not going to actually do any generating in the generate method. Um, it's a little bit counterintuitive. Um, but what we want to do is we want to add a switch statement. So this is switch um, and then world dot um, world dot provider dot dimension ID so what this is going to do is it's going to uh, loop through or get the world and then get its dimension ID. So it'll be, I believe, one for the nether, zero for um, the surface, and negative one for the end. Um, I may be wrong with that, but we'll soon find out. Um, so then we just want to say case. one then generate another world or world brand um, chunk X and chunk Z and it's going to give us an error because we don't have a generate met uh, generate another method so I'm going to explain all of this in a little bit. Let me just make this organized. Um, bit void. Um, there we go. Okay, now we have case zero generate surface world random chunk x and chunk z and then we need to create this one and then we have case negative one generate end world random chunk x and chunk z and then we need to create this one and you'll see it's given us a um, the methods we need so basically what this is doing is it's going through the dimension ID of the world and if it is one or the nether then generate in the nether if it's zero or the surface, generate the surface, or if it's negative one or the end, generate the end. So I'm just going to generate the surface for now um, because that's where most ores are, uh, but I'll explain what you do with the generate end and generate nether methods in a little bit. But inside our generate surface method, we're just going to add a for loop. So for int i equals zero, i is less than and here you're going to put the density well the spawn rate or density um, of your ore 
So basically how common it is. If you were to put zero, it would not spawn at all. Um, and it would probably crash Minecraft. Um, and if you were to put, say, a hundred, it would spawn way, way more frequently than coal. I'm just going to put 15 because that's around where coal is, um, I believe. And then we just want to say I++. Now, inside this for loop, we're going to want to declare a few variables, and these are int x core equals chunk x plus rand dot random dot next int 16 and then we have int y chord equals random dot next int and here you're going to want to put the layer at which our ore starts to spawn so if you want it to spawn at layer 16 and below put layer 16 um, I'm just going to put 64 because I want to be able to find it easily for you all. And then finally we have int z chord equals random dot next int 16 and I forgot to add the chunk z plus random dot next int 16. Um, also one thing I forgot is we actually need to multiply this by 16. Um, so we're going to end up with generate nether chunk x times 16 and chunk z times 16 and I'm lazy so I'm just going to copy all this and I don't know why we're doing that for the chunk it's a little bit redundant but we have to um, so now underneath our I, I that was a bit of a tangent but it's important and otherwise I probably would have forgotten so now underneath our um, declarations here, we're just going to uh, add the statement that makes the magic happen. And this is, parentheses, new um, world gen mineable, mineable without an E. I always make that mistake. Um, and then tutorial dot and here you're going to see we don't have the block we need and the reason for this is that when I declared the block I made a little bit of a mistake in that we need to actually make this public static block um, so now you'll see if we say tutorial dot tutorial or dot block ID it'll work completely fine and then after it we need to I don't care if I need an update and then after our um, block ID, we need to add just one little integer. And this is going to be the size of a vein. So if I were to put two, it would at maximum spawn in veins of two. If I were to put 10, it would at maximum spawn in veins of 10. I'm just going to put 10 uh, to make it easy to find. And then we add dot generate. And we need to... dot generate um, world random x chord y chord z chord and it's going to give us an error because we need to import world gen mineable but then the error goes away and that is our generation code it's pretty um, pretty simple now if you wanted to say add an ore that spawns with the same frequency but at a different level what you would do is you would just go down here and say y chord equals and then declare your level and then add the um, new world gen mineable with your other ore if you wanted to declare a new ore uh, with a different frequency what you do is you just um, add another for loop underneath here so for int i blah 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 um, so that's how you do all that. Now the reason we have generate end and generate nether is if you want to um, generate your ore in the end or the nether. Uh, also, 
it's necessary because if we didn't um, add the case case one, case zero, case negative one, it would generate in every world, um, which we don't want. So if you wanted to generate it in the end, you just copy it and paste it in there, and it all works fine. Um, but that's it for this class for now. Um, the last thing we're going to want to do is inside the tutorial.java. At the very end of the load method, we're going to want to say um, game registry dot add no dot register world generator new world generator tut tutorial. I can't type today. And this is all fine. I'm going to make sure that our block has a good light value so that it's easy for me to find. And I'm going to go ahead and test. So if um, I don't find it quickly, then I'm going to go ahead and speed up the next bit. If I do find it quickly, I'm going to um, not speed up the next little bit. But either way, just skip ahead a bit if you want to just see um, the or spawn. But I'm just going to create a new creative world because we need to create a new world um, in order to generate the new chunks that contain our ore. And it's going to build. And this isn't helpful. So slash time set night. And I'm just going to go into a cave or not a cave. And yeah, so this is how I play Minecraft, uh, minus the flying, is I just talk to Well, so sorry, my dog started barking, sorry. I apologize for that. Um, sorry, yeah. It's a bit loud. Okay, um, there's a zombie in full golden armor. That's interesting. I need to find a cave. Um, sorry about my dog barking. I can't really help it. Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to find a cave right now, because it'll make it very, a lot easier um, to find our own, um, because it glows. Uh, okay, so this bit will, oh, there's gold, this bit will be sped up. Roto, be quiet. Oh, um, never mind. It won't be spread up. Here is our ore, and you can see that it has been. Sorry about my dog. Um, they're doing work in my neighborhood, and my dog is barking at them. Um, but as you can see, our ore has spawned right here um, on layer 21, and it's got a pretty decent sized vein, and if I were to spawn in a pick and game mode 0, then you'll see it's going to give us a large number of diamonds, as um, we told it to. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm not quite sure what I'll talk about, but it'll probably be related to um, either making the block drop experience or items and smelting recipes. So thank you for watching this, tutor this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Bye.